Talk Talk, sponsored by Geisinger Holy Spirit. Exposure to the cold can do a lot more to your body than just make you shiver. Colder temperatures this time of year make your body work harder to maintain a healthy temperature. CBS 21's Ed Russo has a closer look at the link of your heart and the cold. Many of you finally whipped out the snow shovel. It was that heavy wet snow we all dread because if you don't scoop it right, you can put your back out of commission. But the cold that comes along with the snow can actually be even more detrimental to your body. Studies have shown that cold weather in general uh, precipitates heart attack and strokes and other cardiovascular events up to about 30% more than normal. Your body has to maintain a healthy temperature of around 98 degrees. When you expose yourself to air that's much colder than your body temperature, your body has to work harder to keep its normal temperature. In order to do that, your heart must work harder. What happens is your heart rate goes up, your blood pressure goes up, and your vessels constrict. So your body, when exposed to the cold, is already doing an involuntary workout on top of any physical activity that you're already doing, like shoveling snow. People are often more inclined to keep shoveling and avoid taking necessary breaks because they see shoveling not as a recreational workout, but as a chore that simply needs done. Breaks are important especially if you already have heart-related issues. Bundling up, no matter what, when you're going outside layering, so wearing different layers of clothing, as you know, um, creates air pockets in between the layers that also act as insulation. Dress appropriately so your body can more easily maintain a normal temperature. Now, when shoveling snow, you wanna make sure that when you bend down, you bend with the knees, keep your back straight, fill your shovel up, and toss directly in front of you. Don't turn your back. If you have to turn, make sure you rotate and pivot your entire body. And remember, the heavy snow that we just had, a whole bucket full probably weighs around 60 pounds. That's a lot of stress on your body. While any shoveling is going to put stress on your body, you always want to avoid any unnecessary movement that might strain your back. For this week's Doc Talk, I'm Ed Russo for CBS 21 News.